A long time ago, there was one dimension, one reality that fostered a single world called Prime. The planet was filled with cosmic energy that flowed through its core and into the inhabitants of the planet. Inhabitants known as Primari. In time, the Primari discovered a way to use the cosmic energy to create portals. These portals led to other dimensions. New planets opened for the Primari to roam. Many Primari voyaged out of Prime in order to explore these planets. Each had their own unique structure, nature, and resources. Eventually, the Primari that was brave enough to voyage out made homes in these foreign dimensions. By acclimating to these planets, the Primari were able to gain new abilities. Abilities that were amazing, powerful, and mysterious. The Primari became obsessed with claiming more dimensions and discovering more powers. However, by abandoning Prime, they had lost their connection to it and its cosmic energy. Their power to create portals was also taken. Prime no longer recognized them as the Primari they once were. Only those loyal Primari that never left Prime were allowed to keep their connection. Desperate to continue their exploration, the ex-Primari captured the remaining Primari and forced them to create portals. The overuse of cosmic energy started to wear on the planet and cracks began to form. As Primari became scarce, interdimensional fighting ensued, and not long after, a great war broke out between two powerful dimensions. In an effort to put an end to the war and save her people, A powerful Primari called Mother Nature created Starseed, a way to control the cosmic energy within Prime. By using the Starseed, Mother Nature freed all Primari and ended the war. She continued to use his power to protect her people from any foreign threats that dared to step foot in Prime. Even with Prime damaged from the war, Mother Nature was able to keep his energy safe and secure. To ensure history wouldn't repeat itself, Mother Nature passed the star seed on to her descendants, so Prime would always have a protector. They became known as Star Guardians by other dimensions. From generation to generation, this role has remained in my family. It was passed down to my father. and eventually to me. And you thought my theories were crazy. So Jupiter Man, I mean, your dad was the latest Star Guardian? Yes. And you don't have any powers? Not without the Star Seed, which you two now have inside you. Whoa. And the Star Seed can open portals to different dimensions? and grant the Guardian endless proof abilities by connecting to these dimensions. You both have supernatural powers as evidence of that. You're saying my powers came from some world in another reality or dimension, and it's a world filled with slime people? That's the gist of it. Too many dimensions to remember, but I don't doubt a slime one exists. I've seen weirder. Fascinating. But why are you telling us all this now? We were pretty tight-lipped before. What, feel some guilt for almost killing me? No, it's, I mean, 
I do feel bad about that. Don't get me wrong. You're telling us this because... Because you want us to do Jupiter Man's job? Huh? Be star guardians until you find him? Until they find him or find a safe way to extract the star seed from your bodies. Yes. <gasps> what? Why? That monster we fought wasn't a one-time deal. More will keep coming. And for now, only you two have the power to stop them. Well, it's from another dimension, right? Can't we just, I don't know, close the portal or whatever the heck it's coming out of? That thing wasn't from another dimension. It came to be here, in this city. The war caused unforeseen problems for the planet. Problems we now have to deal with. There are now cracks in the cosmic core that cause cosmic energy to constantly leak out. This instability has consequences. This is... A cloud! No. It's cosmic energy condensing into visible mass. This buildup becomes so dense and concentrated that it needs to release the energy to dissipate. Like a cloud. Sure. Anyway. When it does release the buildup of energy, it strikes down on the city. No one can see it and it doesn't affect humans or anything inorganic. But if the energy does manage to strike an animal, or a plant, it's like toxin. Corrupting it. Eventually causing it to change into a monstrous form. And it becomes what we call the Starstruck. I'm guessing that dog monster was... Yeah, the Starstruck. My father was able to locate and immediately detox the Starstruck before the God of Hand, but... I knew it! I knew there was way more to Jupiter, man. So all we need to do is detox these monsters like we did at the warehouse, right? What? Are you hearing yourself? Calm yourself, Quinn. There's gotta be another option. Unfortunately, there are no other options. Well, I could just take the star seat along with her soul and leave you two as empty husk for a while. But I think we can both agree that's not an option. Mm. I'm sorry, I... Look, in order to fulfill the duties of the Guardian, I need the star seed. I know I'm asking for a lot, but- We can do it. I know you're a fan, but this isn't a game. This job is more than just monsters. It will be dangerous. I know, but this is beyond that. I want to help find Jupiter Man. We beat the starstruck whatever, and we didn't know what we were doing. Imagine if we worked as a team. We can do this, Jackie and I. Count me out. Come on, Jackie. I've been going along on your little adventure these past few days. I'm done. Do you not hear him? We are the only ones that can do this. Don't be selfish. Selfish? Really now? You lost your camera. I helped you find it. I never asked you. You wanted to stop a mugger with a gun. Fine. I helped you again. What? That was... You wanted answers for Jupiter Man. I helped you. I went along each time and risked my life each time. Excuse me if I went off the Quentin show. This isn't about me. This is for the good of the city and the world. Ugh, you're so gullible. Did it cross your fanboy mind that he could be lying? That story was ridiculous. Now you don't trust him? You trusted him when you wanted our powers back. Yeah, and he almost killed me. I think I'm allowed to change my mind. That was an accident. Why else would he bring you back? Forget it. 
Go play, hero. I'm going home. Jackie! You gonna let me go or suck out my soul again? Me? I'll show you out. Start down the hall. Sure. I'm going to have to blindfold you before we exit the base. Sorry. Great. You should go too. I'll find you tomorrow. Mm. Hey. You sure you're committed to doing this? Mm. Hmm. I'm not playing hero. Yes. I'm in.